Hey guys, welcome back to the Blackwell Deception. In the last episode, not only did we, well, yeah, Joey. let's talk to Joey for a second. What is it? Yeah, not only did we solve the mystery around Tiffany, but we also made our way here to, uh, what she called again? Jamie, I think. And well, we are supposed not to. Not much I can do here. The door is locked. Must we go over this again? Yeah, we are supposed to open now. that door. Yeah. And we are, of course, going to do that with the help of a Joey, I think. Let's pass Hello? through. Looks like the coast is clear. Okay, so let's have a look around then. I know what this is. It's a cassette player. I think it replaced the 8-track not too long ago. <laughs> not too long ago. Ghost, remember? No touching. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Looks like a bunch of junk to me. Hmm... Okay. Looks like a poster for a band called Epileptic Fish? Seriously, Epileptic Fish. Mm-hmm. Looks like textbooks. Mm-hmm. Just a set of drawers. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what this thing is. Yeah, it seems like it's a laptop, but... Looks like a schedule of some kind. Every item is marked by a letter and number code. I can't make heads or tails of it. Mm-hmm. Does it want a hug? Okay, interesting. We will have to have a look at that with Rosa, though. Looks like a bunch of junk to me. Mm-hmm. Well, we've learned one thing by coming here. Jamie's a slob. Hmm. Well, we've learned one thing by coming here. Jamie's a slob. Okay, so nothing more of interest, huh? Huh, so how are we supposed to get Rosa in here? Uh-huh, wait a second. It says, Remember Waterloo. Remember Waterloo. Okay. Wait, Remember Waterloo. There's a keypad on this door. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. Remember Waterloo. Waterloo's 1815. Oh, it was that easy. Okay, cool, cool. We got it. We got it. I don't need to take it. It says, remember Waterloo. Okay. This is really old. It's got a cassette player and everything. Okay. Does anyone listen to cassette tapes anymore? It must be something she had as a child. Okay, let's... No point. It doesn't even have a tape inside. Okay, we need a tape It must tape have first. sentimental value of some kind. We don't need any of that stuff. Okay. It's full of makeup. Nail polish, eyeliner, hairspray. I guess that's college for you. Mm, okay, maybe she uh, is also just some vanity going on here. A set of drawers. Open them up, maybe? There's nothing useful in there. Okay. Just some textbooks covering a variety of subjects. They seem to be the only books in the room. You would think a college kid would have more than this. These books are pretty generic. They wouldn't tell me anything. Okay. Looks like a poster for a band called Epileptic Fish. I've heard of those guys. I'm not sure they play together anymore. I'm not here to steal Jamie's things. Besides, I've got no place to put it. Okay, let's have a look at the schedule. This looks like a class schedule. I recognize a bunch of the course codes from when I studied here. You remember that after all this time? It wasn't that long ago. If you say so. Let's see. She's mostly taking English and history classes. Uh-huh. Now this is interesting. She's taking the same writing class that I did. That's interesting. Well, it is to me. She's even got the same professor. Mm-hmm. Elaine Appleton. Okay. I don't need Jamie's class schedule. It's Jamie's class schedule. There's nothing special about it, except that she took the same writing class I did. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about the laptop? It's a small laptop. Oh, and a password. We don't have one, though. Hmm, so we will have to return here, it seems. Random knickknacks and boxes of cosmetics. Nothing important. We don't need any of that stuff. Hmm. I'm a medium, not a maid. <laughs> that was... typical for a college kid, I guess. Okay, that was, that was actually funny. Okay, if we want to open the desk once more. There's nothing more. useful. Okay. No point. It, doesn't, it must have sentimental value of some... Okay, we don't have... Maybe we will find a tape. Got a sec. You rang. 
I wonder if Professor Appleton remembers me. Doubtful, but you never know. Hmm, okay. That's all for now. Yeah. So we are supposed to head to towards uh, Professor Appleton. Oh, we do have uh, a new uh, email. Hi, Rosangela. It's been ages since you came to the gallery. How are you? I just wanted to let you know that Claude Erdin's The Dark Lady still hasn't been sold. I remember you were once interested in it. I can give you a good price if you still want it, Josie Parks. Okay, so we do have Elaine Appleton. Hmm. Elaine Appleton was Jamie's English professor. Mine too, oddly enough. Mm-hmm. No, I don't. Okay. If there's a. Just want to check out if there is any if connection. If there's a connection. Jamie. Lisa said that she referred Jamie to Gavin. Mm-hmm. If there's a connection. If there's any. Okay. All right. So, uh, do we have to look up Elaine Appleton? The, is the question. Let's try Elaine Appleton. All right, new phone number, Elaine Appleton. So we can call her. I'm going to call Sam for a second. Durkin. Hi. Yeah. It's me. Uh, -huh. uh, nothing new, right? I was just checking. Nothing yet. Yeah. Right. All right, hang up. I don't have. Okay, that's fine. Let's call Mrs. Appleton. Miss Appleton? I don't know. Hello? Hi, is this Elaine Appleton? That's me. Who's this? Rosangela Blackwell. I was in your class around ten years ago. Rosangela, yes, yes, of course I remember you. It's been a long time. I saw you had a book published, is that right? Something like that. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, sure. What can I help you with? Hmm, she remembers you. I'm surprised you remember me after all this time. Well, it was my first year as a professor, and you did stand out. Oh, that's nice. The coffee? The cup you spilled all over my desk? Oh, God. I completely forgot about that. I didn't. I had to let those papers dry out all night. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Jamie. I wanted to ask about a student of yours. Jamie Graham? Oh, her. Yes. So tragic what happened. Tragic? You mean you don't know? She died just last week. I... no. No, I didn't. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Did you know her well? No, not really. But could I ask you some questions about her? I'm not sure what I can tell you that I already didn't tell the police, but go ahead. Hmm, what was Jamie like? What can you tell me about Jamie? I hate to speak ill of her, but she was a disappointment. How so? At first, she was very keen about her work. She was a brilliant writer, but that brilliance soon faded. By midterm, she'd show up for class late and hung over when she showed up at all. And as for what she was wearing, well, let's just say it wasn't appropriate. Uh-huh. Brilliant. What made her brilliant? She had a way of infecting you with her passion. When she loved something, she could make you love it too. She had a keen interest in Middle Eastern history, so it was no surprise that most of her work had Middle Eastern themes to them. But as I said, that faded with time. She stopped having a passion for much of anything, I think. Interesting. Such a waste. Interesting. What made her brilliant? Well, like I said, she had a way of infecting... She okay, we have that already. Faded. You said she faded. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. I wish I did. At the time, I figured it was the typical story. Young, sheltered girl comes to the city and gets overwhelmed with the freedom of it all. Most adjust fine. Some, well, don't. I could tell she was troubled, but I learned long ago that it isn't my place to reach out. I remember mm. you being a bit closed off once upon a time. Yes, well, we all change. Hmm, her clothes. What was wrong with her clothes? I'm no prude, but what she was wearing should stay in Munray's where it belongs. Munray's? It's a nightclub. It's a popular hangout for the students here. And Jamie went there? She wore their t-shirts, so I'd assume yes. Although it was more like a half a shirt. Uh-huh, okay. Let's go with faded. You said she faded. What do you think happened to her? Well, like I, at the time, yeah. Yeah, I could tell. Okay, okay, yes. we have that already. How did Jamie die? How did Jamie die? I'm not sure. No foul play, if that's what you're asking. It was a clot in the brain or something like that. Really? Mm -hmm. That's what the police said anyway. Mm-hmm, the police. Why were the police involved? If she died by natural causes, why involve them? I wondered the same thing myself. The detective, 
A man named Durkin, I believe, wasn't very forthcoming. Uh huh. Why were the police involved? I wondered the detective. Okay, let's check the notes then. Do you know a guy named Jeremy Sams? Hmm, no. I don't know anyone with that name. Mm hmm. About Highline? Do you ever go up to the Highline? It's gorgeous, isn't it? My husband and I went for a walk there last summer. But you haven't been back since? No, we haven't. Why? Oh, no reason. Mm hmm. What about Gavin? Have you ever heard of a man named Gavin? Gavin? Can't say I know any Gavins. Mm hmm. Jamie? Is there anything else you could tell me about Jamie? If there's anything specific you'd like to know, just ask. Mm hmm. Elaine? That's who I'm talking to right now. Yeah, that is true. Okay, what about Munray? So, what is Munray's like? I wouldn't know. My clubbing days are long gone. I just embarrass myself. Mm hmm. Okay. So, we still have this. What made her. Well, like I said, uh, Middle I Eastern I theme and you faded. Said she... Well, like I uh, said at the time, da, 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 I figured a young, sheltered girl comes to the most yeah. just fine. I could tell she was troubled. I remember she was troubled. Being a bit close. Yes. Okay, let's hang up. I then. should get going. Are you still in the city? We should have coffee sometime. Oh, uh, sure. I'm a bit wrapped up in the story, but maybe after? Sure, sure. You take care. Hmm, okay, so we do have Munray's. The question is... Munray's. Yeah, we do have a new location, and I guess we are supposed to go there. Uh, let's talk to Mr. Durkin once more. Because it seems like he is involved somehow Hi, too. It's me again. Hmm, let's talk about Jamie I with you. I wanted to talk to you about Jamie Graham. Who? Jamie, a Columbia student. I was told you were looking into it. You get around, don't you? I think Jamie and Jeremy might be connected. Could we talk somewhere? Why should I do that? Look, you owe me, and I might be able to help you out again. You could, huh? Like you said, I get around. Mm -hmm. I've been there. Right. See you there. Okay, so we could also just meet up with him, but for the time being, we are just going to go to the nightclub, I think. That's we're gonna go first. Yes, we are. A $20 cover for this dump? You got robbed. What? I said you got robbed. I look like a slob? No. <laughs> well, yes, kind of. Ah, just forget it. All right, so let's have a look around here then. They look pretty engrossed, whoever they are. These are placed all over the club. Okay, can we go further to the left? Yes, we can. There is a DJ, and this guy seems to be important for later, but... Make small talk. Hi. Hey. They're ignoring me. No, oh, that hurts. Looks like it goes to an upstairs lounge. There's a sign that says the VIP area is closed. I could try and climb over, but I'd get caught instantly. Mm hmm. Looks like some kind of flat screen panel. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Search for a song. Okay, we don't know which one though. These are placed all over. He looks drunk, whoever he is. Okay, just to be sure, there are drinks over here too. And a bartender. I can't read the labels, but it looks like decent stuff to me. The last time I drank on the job, it didn't end too well. Yeah. Oh, believe me, I'm tempted. Can we go to the dance floor? Excuse me, could I ask... Hello? Ow, hey, watch the arm! Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. Who would have thought? Okay. He looks drunk. Alright, so let's talk to him. Hi. Um... He's just looking at me funny. I guess he doesn't want to talk to me. Okay, if that's the case, we're just gonna talk to this guy then. Hi. Um... I can't just chat with some stranger. Not here, anyway. Okay, if that doesn't work, I haven't right-clicked yet. He's just leaning against the wall. Yeah, he's cool. Looks like the bartender. Oh, he wants to be cool. Alright, let's talk to the Hi. bartender. Hi, got a sec? 
Hello? She's serving a bunch of customers on the other side. I can't get her attention. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's switch to Joey and go up the stairs here. Aha! Who would have thought, right? Okay, there is nothing else that we can check out besides Jamie, it seems. She seems like a decent enough kid. Okay, let's talk to her. Jamie? You're Jamie Graham, aren't you? Do I know you? Mm, no. Not yet, but uh, I hope to change that. You think so, huh? Anyway, I'm Joey. Uh-huh. Hmm, are you alone? Are you alone here tonight? That's a crime. Whatever. I'm here with friends. Friends, huh? They'll be here any minute. Well, in the meantime, how about we get to know each other? How about not? Okay. You come here often? Don't think I've seen you before. Maybe you have, but I know I've never seen you. Hey? I wouldn't forget a Rat Pack reject like you. What's up with that, anyway? Reject? I'll have you know this fabric is top of the line. Look at me, I'm impressed. Interesting music, huh? It's alright. Hmm, so, how about a drink? No thanks. Come on, just one drink and a conversation. If you still don't like me, you can dump it on me. Deal? Don't tempt me. Hmm. Are you even old enough to be in here? Sure I am. I've got the best ID money can buy. Mm hmm. Care to dance? Whatever. No, this music sucks. Care to dance? Whatever. No, this music sucks. Okay, we have to find out what she likes. So, what brings you here? It's a place to go, right? It's a place, I'll give it that. Why are you being like this? You barely know me. Please, I've already got a dog back home. Hey, now that's a bit uncalled for. His name is Benji. You'd like him. You've got a lot in common. Mm-hmm. Why are you being like this? You barely know me. Please, I've already got a dog back home. Hey, now that's a bit uncalled for. His name is Benji. You'd like him. You've got a lot in common. Benji, huh? I've got a scram, but uh, don't you go anywhere. I make no promises. Benji. Okay, guys, I do have... A theory which I want to test right away because we still don't know what uh, what the song is that she wants to hear to dance but we know about Benji now and we are going back to Jamie's place <coughs> sorry guys and this laptop here Benji there we go Alright, we got some news here from Don Graham. Hey kid, you're doing okay? Just thought I'd check in. You're doing alright out there? Things are the same back west. Drop, uh, drop your mother a line and let her know you're do how you're doing. Everyone back in Illinois misses you. Dead. Sarah Elmiller. Jamie, did you hear that Ali and John got married? They uh, eloped last week. Made her mom furious. They're living in Mattoon now. You think they would want to move further away from here, but what ifs? Come with it soon. Lisa Tense and Jamie, I think I've taken you as far as I can, dear. This dark energy around you just won't lift, and it might be beyond my abilities. Come by my office as soon as you can. I'm going to send you to someone who can do the job better than I can. Hey, Jamie, I just wanted you, uh, you to know that I had a great time last night. The past few weeks have been great, even. You were... Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, okay. Uh, you want to get together again uh, tomorrow? Seb. Uh-huh. Uh, this is from Gavin. Thank you for getting in touch. Lisa told me about a problem and I do believe I can help. It, uh, it will require some extreme changes in your life, but I think you can handle it. Let's meet tomorrow and remember, things are never as bad as they seem. Gavin. Uh-huh. Well, this once again is from her father, it seems. Uh, is what I'm hearing true? Are you really failing three subjects? Jamie, you were doing so well. What's gotten into you? Call me anytime. This is uh, Seb again. You know what? Forget it. You want to get high and piss your life away in that Monray's dump? Then go right ahead. I don't care. I'm done. What the hell happened to you? Seb. Hmm. This is new. She even hasn't read these. Uh... Jamie, is what they are saying true? Please answer and say it's not true. Sarah. And this is from Jeremy. 
Uh huh. From okay. From this. Oh, okay. From Jeremy Sams. Hi, my name is Jeremy Sams, and I'm a reporter with the City Post. I was hoping to chat with you about your experiences with Gavin. We can do it over the phone, or I can buy you a coffee. Ladies choice. Jeremy Sams, City Post. Huh, and this is from Seb. So you finally did it. You spiraled out of control and ended up where I thought you would. Uh, you were. Jesus, why am I writing you? I know you're dead. This is stupid. I go to that nightclub hoping to see you there. Why? I don't know. Why'd you do this, Jamie? Everything was so good. Huh, interesting. Okay, do we have any new... Oh, no, that I didn't want to do that. Although, maybe... Hi, Elaine. It's me again. Rose Angela, what can I help you with? Maybe we do have some new stuff here. What made her brilliant? Well, yeah, said that I've such a yeah, that we had that you already. Said well, I have the time. Young, most I could die. Yes. Yeah. Well, we all. Okay. Why were the police involved? I want. The yeah, we had that already too. So what is Mun? I wouldn't know. Mm. My clubbing days are long gone. I just embarrass myself. Okay. All right. So nothing new here. I should get sure. Hmm, okay, I guess I'm we not talking to him through the door. Yeah, so let's go through the door then. I guess we will have to meet up with the detective hey, first. Joey? What is it this time? Hmm. So, any ideas? Did that professor say anything about where Jamie might have gone? She might have. Then I don't know what you're waiting for. We need to follow any lead we've got. Hmm, okay. That's all for- Yeah. So I guess... We could go back to the nightclub, but we are going to go to the cafe first. Because I want to talk to Mr. Detective, sir. Hi, Detective Durkin? Oh, it's you. So, what can I do for you? So, any progress on Jeremy? Look, you helped us out on the ID, but don't push it. You know about as much as I do. Mm hmm So why are you looking into Jamie's death? Her teacher said it was natural. Well, she was right. It looked that way, sure enough. And? The body was found in a dumpster off of Amsterdam. Natural or not, how did the body get in there? True. A dumpster? So it was murder? I didn't say that. It was three blocks away from some nightclub. We learned she was a regular, so we went over. She bought it in the upstairs room. Some kind of VIP area. One minute, dancing the night away. The next, lights out. Nobody saw how she died, just that she was dead. Anyway, the bouncer saw it in freak, so he snuck her out and dumped her. Like I said, cut and dry. Case closed. Hmm. How are you sure she wasn't murdered? We have this thing called a coroner's report. Right. What did it say? I don't know the medical term, but some kind of brain vessel burst? It happens. One thing's for sure. It was no murder. Just rotten luck. Hmm. What else did the coroner's report say? Nothing too important. Why? I don't know. Could I see it? You do owe me. I don't know about that, but you certainly do get around. Look, I can't give you the actual report, but I can give you the gist. You might be nuts, but for some reason, I think you're alright. Thanks. Don't thank me. You owe me now. You got a phone? Yeah. When we finish here, I'll send you a message. Interesting. Okay. Let's talk. How did Jeremy die? What was the cause of death, I mean? Small caliber bullet to the back of the head. He never saw it coming. That's horrible. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Has this ever happened on the High Line before? Not like that, no. The place used to be a dump. They cleaned it up good, but some grime, you can't wash it off. Do you know anyone named Gavin? You're gonna have to be more specific than that. He's kind of a cult leader. I'm not sure what he does yet. Yet? Have you heard of him or not? Nah, sorry. Okay. Thrown away like trash. That's horrible. You're surprised? You know what happened up on the High Line. Some people are animals. They choke someone's mother to death for no good reason. Mm-hmm. You spoke to Professor Appleton. The Graham kids, Prof? Yeah. Why? No reason, really. And Munray's? This club where Jamie died. It was Munray's, wasn't it? You get around. Yeah, that was the place. All right, guys. So, hmm. how come Munrays is still open after what they did? How do you think any club stays open? They offer favors and spread money around to the right people, and the whole thing never happened. It's all hushed up. Nothing in the papers, even. 
All right, so I guess that's it for the time well, being. Bye. See ya. All right, guys, but I'm really sorry we have hit the end of the episode mark. If you want to know what we are going to do with this information, most likely go back to the club. You'll have to tune in next time for... The Blackwell Deception. See you then.